my name is Tom Otley, I'm the editor of Business Traveller and welcome to the latest of our video reviews. Today I'm taking Bamboo Airways from London Terminal 3 to Hanoi. lunchtime uh, with the six hour time difference to Hanoi that's going to be seven o'clock in the evening but right now it's one o'clock so we're hoping for some lunch at some point. The uh, boarding was fine, um, that was on time, I think it was just very busy at the airport which is why there was a slightly late check um, takeoff. Um, on board uh, no problem at all, greeted with smiles, a jacket hung, um, offered a drink, no alcohol yet but um, kind of green healthy drink. I could tell it got ginger in it, it was green so it must be healthy, and a red one. I don't know what that was. If I see the menu I'll, um, I'll be able to know. The seat itself, I mean you, you come on board and you've got this cabin of I think 26 seats in a 1-2-1 one, one configuration. It's an ADGK. It's what's called a reverse herringbone seat and what that means is it's kind of angled but in this case towards the window. So the window seats are angled towards the windows and the centre seats are angled towards one another. I mean it's a very popular layout and this is a quite a common seat. It's, it's loads of comfort, obviously it goes fully flat. There's actually quite a lot of storage um, around the seats. I was expecting there not to be. One thing for takeoff and landing, it looks like you can stow beneath the footrest which is useful because it meant I could work on my laptop at the last minute and then uh, put the laptop down and we could do the takeoff. In terms of the, the cabin, I mean this is a 7879, so a relatively new aircraft. I think these aircraft were originally intended for Hainan Airlines and then they got into some financial difficulties and those 7879s have appeared with Lufthansa but they've also appeared here with um, Bamboo and um, of the three or four they've got there's two different types of business class so Obviously this is the one with the blue seat covers and then there's a kind of browny beige one which is a different business class seat again. I think that one is the Super Diamond which is like Etihad has and British Airways. This is not that seat. It's got everything you would need. Really good table. There's power on board both USB and a proper plug so you can power your laptop or whatever it is you want. There's plenty of storage space around the seat. The, the overhead compartments, um, it's worth noting that if you have the single seats at the side, the window seats, those are deeper so you get more storage than you do in the centre seats. Because the centre seats, because of the headroom, um, they make smaller compartments so when you stand up you don't smash your head. Um, that said, for a long haul flight, most people, well, many people check their bags, which means they're not bringing on the maximum they could do, which means there's enough room. It's always difficult to judge that. It depends on the flight, depends on the people, and, and also depends how full the flight is. And we're not full of business class, we're probably two thirds full, so you know, there's more room. Um, the colour scheme is, I mean, it's inoffensive, there's nothing particularly special about it. The seats are kind of blue with some checks on. Um, everything else is white or just off white. Um, so it's a clean looking cabin, um, but it's not memorable. You know, you don't go wow when you walk on board. Um, the actual bamboo livery is quite colourful, um, and so is uh, some of the things that they give you, such as the, well actually the, the immediate bag's dark blue as well, and the slippers are kind of beige. But anyway, the livery, if you were looking at the outside of the plane, you'd think it was quite colourful. Um, and the staff are wearing kind of white, creamy white uniforms with uh, green neckchiefs, and are very friendly. You know, obviously want it to be a success, the whole flight. When you're talking about which seats to choose, um, I'm in... 18, 18k. If you go for 17k, which is the one in front, that's the one that's kind of lacking one window. Um, I don't think it makes a huge difference because you still get a window to look out of, but I've got, kind of got two. Yeah, most of most people have got two, depending on where they're sitting. But um, and that row, because of um, I guess it's you know strengthening for the plane, um, 17 doesn't have two windows, so it might not bother you at all. In fact, if you're sleeping, it won't bother you at all, but it's uh, one to bear in mind. As far as which seats to go for, I'd probably avoid the last row, which is row 20, the two centre seats, because your head um, is against the galley where they're preparing the food at the moment. Personally, I'd avoid the front row as well, uh, which is 11. I know it's weird that the front row of the aircraft is 11 and it goes back to 20. Um, I think that's because at some point they're going to put first class on some of these. I might be wrong about that, but... Um, 
depends what plane deliveries they are. I wouldn't imagine they'll retrofit this one because it's still quite new. But, um, but anyway, it starts at 11 and this cabin is 11 to 20 for the 26 seats. Just wanted to show you the Bamboo Airways emergency bag, which is really quite chunky. Um, what it's got in it is, let's unwrap it, each thing in turn. It's got uh, flight socks. We've already been given slippers, I'm wearing them. Uh, earplugs. That's a toothbrush and toothpaste. This looks like a, another pair of, oh no, an eye mask. face mask. The way people are coughing on this flight could really use one. Um, brush. A sticker saying wake me up for a meal. A sticker saying do not disturb me. No matter how hungry I look. Hand sanitizer. And this is body lotion from Shop R. And some mouthwash. You know, it's a pretty um, full pack. But as I say, that um, Bamboo Airways doesn't say that it's a low-cost airline by any stretch of the imagination. I think they think of themselves as a sort of hybrid where they get fantastic business class seat like this and some hopefully good food, we'll see in a bit, and an amenity bag like this one. Um, but at the same time, some very competitive prices. Oh yeah, these are the noise-cancelling headphones. They say Bamboo on them. And they've also got sort of um, the cushion things so that you can not have your ears next to someone else's ears. I'm sure they've been sanitised as well. So this is the menu and we've got, um, is that the main course or could you do the starters first? So we've got um, hors d'oeuvre of potato with mustard and mayonnaise or shrimp tartare. Tom Young, is that got meat in it? Yeah, butternut squash soup. Okay, so that's braised beef, Korean style chicken, or salmon and couscous. Right. Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, Marlborough, and a Chardonnay Pay Doc, and a Grand Selection Merlot from Chile, Tyrrell's Old Winery, Shiraz, Australia. Great, thank you. Soft drinks. What beer is it? Okay. Um, may I have. Um, do you have a Diet Pepsi? Sorry? Diet Pepsi? As you can see, it's not exactly the most up-to-date um, content on here with those movies. It's, you know, it's, it's a decent screen. But these aren't particularly modern films. I don't know, that's how they're going to bother you or not bother you, I suppose. A lot of people get afford now, they've got all their own content. But... they make up the bed. Okay, so we've got about two and a half hours to go. Um, I've had a little bit of a sleep, uh, not too long, and that's less to do with the quality of the bed and more to do with the time. Um, we set off at lunchtime and you fly for 12 hours, so effectively you're landing at sort of midnight. So sleeping in the afternoon is something that some people can do. I managed it for a couple of hours, but then the rest of the time just read a book and um, enjoyed the service. Uh, they brought around drinks, uh, you know, water, orange juice. I guess you could have drunk beer and uh, white and red wine if you wanted it. They don't have sparkling um, at the moment. Um, the bed, when you fully recline it, very comfortable, easily long enough, enough space. Um, one of the strange things actually, if you fully recline it, there's almost kind of this uh, lump in the middle. Um, so I found that just having it just above being completely flat was the most comfortable. But you know, everyone's different in what they want from a bed. Um, devices have all charged up. The USB charging um, is very slow. So on a long flight, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like a drip charge. So, But it took probably three or four hours to charge up my phone from 50% to 100%. The AC power is uh, very powerful. Um, 
what I was going to tell you about the flight. I think it, I'd recommend it. Um, you know, I think they're, they're good prices. Um, the business class is certainly very comfortable. I need to check on whether there actually is a premium economy. Certainly, it looked like it was when we were booking the flights. But uh, when I look back there, it doesn't look like there is a premium economy coming. So I'll try and find out. And when you read the review that will be under this one, the written review on Business Traveller, um, I'll clarify that and also the, um, the seat. Uh, hopefully get a chance to um, do a sign off before we finish. Uh, but if not, uh, this has been another flight review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave your comments on the bottom and um, see you soon.